Let's talk about AI, the kind that's transforming healthcare, not just fetching your slippers. Tech giants are in a race to build the biggest, smartest models, promising to revolutionize medicine and rake in profits. But building these digital behemoths isn't just about clever code, it's a massive industrial operation, demanding mountains of data, armies of engineers, and hardware that guzzles resources. The bigger the model, the bigger the problems, environmental, financial, and social. Companies believe more data and bigger models will magically fix healthcare, but that's like piling more cheese on a bad pizza. It just gets messier and pricier. The real question isn't what AI can do, but how it's built, who pays the price, and what's being sacrificed. Behind the glossy demos are hidden costs, environmental damage, workforce chaos, and a mountain of debt. The AI revolution in healthcare is here, but it's dragging serious baggage. Tonight, we're unpacking the inconvenient, expensive, and jaw-dropping details. Let's dive in. First, AI's environmental footprint, huge and growing. Training massive models requires data centers, giant warehouses of supercomputers running non-stop, generating intense heat. Cooling them takes millions of gallons of water daily. By 2028, AI data centers could use over a billion cubic meters of water a year. And the electricity? Data centers already use over 4% of US power, set to double by 2030, much of it from fossil fuels. Training a single top-tier AI can emit as much carbon as a small country. Tech companies tout progress, but their emissions are skyrocketing, up 150% in just three years. Then there's e-waste AI chips become obsolete fast, adding millions of tons of toxic trash to landfills. Data centers are often built in poor communities, leaving locals to deal with water shortages and pollution while profits go elsewhere. The environmental cost is paid by the many for the benefit of a few. So when CEOs claim AI is for humanity, ask, which humanity? The planet and vulnerable communities are footing the bill. Progress shouldn't mean poisoning our future. Let's demand better. Now let's talk about the people using AI, doctors, nurses, hospital staff. Companies spend billions on AI, but pennies on training the humans who use it. Complex tools are dropped onto desks with little guidance, like handing a teen the keys to a race car. The result? Overtrust in AI outputs, even when they're wrong or hallucinated, leading to dangerous errors in healthcare. Others are so overwhelmed they avoid the AI entirely, wasting investments and missing promised gains. Only 16% of companies fully roll out AI tools because employees aren't ready. Worse, untrained staff may feed sensitive data into public AI, risking privacy breaches and legal disasters. In healthcare, that's a five-alarm fire, violating laws and risking massive fines. The human glitch is real, and the cost of neglecting training is enormous. Smart AI needs smart users. Think buying AI is expensive? The real costs never stop. Most models run on subscriptions or paper use, like a streaming service, but every scan or update racks up fees. Hospitals can face skyrocketing bills as usage grows. AI needs constant human supervision, data scientists and clinical experts to monitor for errors, bias, and compliance. Instead of reducing staff, AI often creates new, costly departments. Integrating AI with old hospital systems is a nightmare. Custom software, new workflows, endless training. Staying legal is another ongoing expense. Compliance with strict healthcare laws, audits, and government approvals. Miss a step, and the fines can be crippling. The hidden costs of AI are relentless and rising. The sticker shock is real. In healthcare, trust is everything, and AI can shatter it in seconds. One bad AI decision, one biased output, and patients lose faith in the whole system. Headlines won't blame the algorithm, they'll blame the hospital. AI trained on biased data can deepen inequalities, giving better care to some and flawed advice to others. This isn't progress, it's digital discrimination. When trust erodes, patients and staff stop using AI, data dries up, and the system grinds to a halt. Billions spent on AI can't buy back lost trust. Reputational damage is the hidden cost that can cripple a hospital. Trust is priceless and fragile. Companies gamble with it every time they rush AI to market. So, what now? The answer isn't to unplug AI, but to build it smarter. 
First, demand data centers run on renewables and push for energy-efficient models. Smaller specialized AIs can do the job without draining resources. Tech companies must take responsibility for e-waste. Design hardware to be recycled, not trashed. Next, fix the human glitch. Invest in real AI literacy for every employee, from executives to frontline staff. Training should teach not just how to use AI, but how to question it, spot bias, and validate results. Empowered users are the best defense against errors and breaches. Finally, demand transparency and accountability. Companies should report their environmental impact and be held liable for algorithmic mistakes. Regulations must protect patient data and ensure fairness. Don't be dazzled by shiny tech, ask the hard questions. The goal isn't to stop the future, but to build one that works for everyone. Smarter, not just bigger, that's the future we need.